All right, welcome back everyone. This is a Rogue Galaxy Any% percent speedrun tutorial. In this video, we'll be covering all of chapter seven. So let's get started. This chapter is pretty short. Shouldn't take long at all. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to teleport to the Salgan Residential Area Plaza. Alright, uh, first let's open the menu. Now we're going to swap out Deagle for Simon. Cutscene happen, skip it. So in this chapter we're going to clear any encounters we get using Desert Wind and Missile Skull. Using one of them each will be Don't enough to, behind, okay? to clear any of the encounters in this area. We need to clear as many as possible because we need a lot of money for the next chapter. Uh, there's not much point to taking control of Kasala since uh, we need to use abilities if we pass just to stick, stick with Jasper. So I'm gonna burn! Simon can only use Mr. Skull once. Uh, once he levels up, we will be able to use it That's twice. That's how you get it done. So this I think we really need hot. two, one or two There's more levels in the to use it twice. Uh, Jester might reach uh, a high enough level so that he'll be able to use Desert Wind level two three times without a refill. Man, not these guys. So feel free to use the recharge ring. Those guys were no challenge at all. Most of the encounters in this area will give around a thousand to Zen or close to it anyway. I feel like I could run forever. Uh, for the start of the next chapter we'll need at least around 7,200 Zen. These guys. Uh, but the more the better. So that uh, you can restock on recovery items and such. Like crazy. This route, bad choice. All right, I get this transporter to your AP. Head into the rooms. Man, not these guys. No. The only enemy that you can't take any chance with are living lava. They are jump up enemies, so they are not affected by AOE abilities. Like that these. was a cinch. Don't fall behind, okay? So we're gonna open this chest here for two absolute zero stones. Simon has is a high enough level so he can now use it twice without needing a refill. That's the end of that. Another thing to do is to set your team back to back to step back if you, they aren't out at it already. This pace up. Those guys were no challenge at all. Oh, activate transporter. Battle after battle. 
we got to get through it. Mom, wait for me. So Jasper now has over 68 feet, so he can use this only three times. Popping up like crazy. So there's gonna be a cutscene here. Can I skip that? Get there ahead of us. So reaching that close to reaching the end of this chapter. Come during the winter. Man, not these guys. Living lava enemies are not very common, so you probably won't see them at all if you're lucky. Was a cinch. This route, bad choice. Don't fall behind, okay? I'm gonna open one more chest. Got a chest on the right here. For one Luma ribbon. So active transporter. Let's keep this pace up. And into the end of the area, we're gonna have boss. So I can skip this first cutscene. Uh, the second one cannot be skipped until it zooms in on the scales. Aha! So those must be hints. Well, what are they? Look over there. We probably have to place a key piece on each of these three pedestals. Those images are most likely telling us where we can find them. But that's... So, where exactly are these key pieces? We have to figure these out first. Let's see, that's... No, yeah, let's skip it. Alright, now we have let's a fight to concede. So, this fight, uh, you just need to survive for a minute. So, I'd recommend just standing up here. This is funny. And uh, you probably won't be able to hit us most of the time from here. Everyone alright? Uh, so, this fight lasts about a minute. All you do is stay up here and you should be fine. watching. I hope this was helpful and see you in the next one.